Hi everybody, we're back with another really quick Chinese diesel heater video for you. And today we're going to run down all the basics on how to use this controller here, the new black style with the spanner on the top left hand corner, in under five minutes. Let's get going. <laughs> So the first thing you're going to want to do is prime the heater to get the fuel from the tank into the heater. It's really easy. All you have to do is press these two buttons here and hold them down until the screen changes. And this is a countdown timer for how long you want it to count down for. Um, the time depends how far your tank is away from your heater. Ours is right close to it. So we're going to set it to 20 seconds and then to start the prime we're going to press OK. So that'll count down from 20 to zero. If you want to stop it before the countdown finishes because the fuel has already reached the bottom of your heater, all you have to do is press OK and that'll stop it. And then we just press this to take us back to the main menu. And that takes you back to there. So next thing you're going to want to do is pair the remote. So to pair the remote, you have to press spanner and up at the same time until you get PE and then you press the off button on the remote and that will pair that. See that's paired. You can actually pair two remotes to this one controller for some reason. So to do that, all we're gonna do now is press spanner and up again. And then we're gonna pair this other remote to it as well. And now they should both work. So that's them both working. So after that, I'm going to set the time. So we'll press this to go back to the main menu. Oh, I've turned it on. Turn it off. There we go. So to set the time, we're going to press the spanner and the OK button at the same time until the first zero flushes. And then we need to set the time. We're going to pretend it's uh, 6 35 p.m. and it's a 24 hour clock so we need to go up to the one and press ok we need to find the eight because 18 is six is 6 p.m press ok and then the three press ok and then the five okay and that sets the clock so next we press this button and takes us back to the main menu Next thing we're going to do is switch modes, so from Hertz mode to power mode. It works slightly different on this heater though. We've just got power, like a power setting and a temp setting. Uh, it can't, it's kind of the same, but it, it's named differently. So we're just going to switch between them. So to do that, all we have to do is press the power button and the spanner button at the same time. There we go. So that's in temp mode or thermostatic mode. And then, and that's in power mode. You can change the power all the way from one to 10. And in thermostatic mode, you can go from 10 degrees all the way up to 45 degrees. So that's that one. Um, next, how to set the timer. The, well, there's two timers on this one. Oh, turned it on again. So it's a short press to turn it on, long press to turn it off. Okay, to set the timer, we have to go back to the these two buttons here again. So you press both these buttons at the same time. That brings up the clock. So next we press the spanner and they'll bring up the first timer. So let's say we want it to come it on in five minutes time. So we're gonna go zero, 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 five, okay. And that that's that, it's gonna come on in five minutes time. The next time, if you don't want it to turn off, you leave the next timer, but if you want it to turn off at a specific time, you go to the next timer. So if it comes on in five minutes and then you want it to go off in half an hour, Say so we go zero, zero, three, zero. Okay, and that's that time is set. And then we press this, 
and then both your timers are set. And then the last final thing we're going to show you is how to get into the secret menu. There's only one thing you can really change in there, but we'll show you how to get into it anyway. Press both of these buttons at the same time. And that brings you to this. And we just press the spanner three times. That brings you to this. And then the passcode for this is 1234. So we go 1, OK. 2, OK. OK. Four. OK. And that brings you to this menu here. And there's not much you can really change on it. You can change that from T to P. It's OK, whatever that is. This you can change P, one to two. OK, the H you can change. H, L. And then the two, one, two, eight. One, two, that's literally it. That's literally all you can change in this. And you press OK, and then it takes you back to the start of that again. And then to get back to your main menu, you just press that, and you're there. All right, so that's about it. I went slightly over on the time, but never mind. If you liked it, please subscribe, click like, leave a comment below, and we'll see you next time. Now then, if you'd like to be in with a chance of winning the heater featured in this video, head on over to our Patreon page where for a measly £3 a month you can be entered into a prize draw and potentially win high value items like this Vivo all-in-one heater or other such like. We won't be giving away these big items every month but there will always be something going and other great perks are in the works so why not hop on board? We are Van Life UK, a complete survivor's guide. Please subscribe.